hello welcome to this video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to create a product one page website in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to create this kind of slider that is very animated as you can see this kind of um, slider and arrow section we are going to learn how to do this we are going to learn how to create this kind of section we are going to learn how to create this kind of section as well with a switcher as you can see we are also going to learn how to create this part and add this kind of review as you can see we have to learn how to add this kind of review we also learn how to be able to add an order form where they can put their email address their name select the type of product they want to uh, buy add their phone number add their debit and credit card and make payment all on one page we are also going to learn how to make um, this website a one page scroll such that if any of the menu is clicked it takes them to that particular section if i click on this as you can see it brings me down i just click on this it brings me to this section i just click on the pre-order it takes me all the way down and if i should come back and i click on make payments it takes me like this so there's also a back to top button right here that takes them up as you can see You also learn how to make the design mobile responsive. As you can see, the slider is mobile responsive. And um, the other contents are mobile responsive as well. If I click on the switcher, it changes. It is mobile responsive. And we also have a menu that is mobile responsive. If I click on make, it takes me there and the slider closes. We also have a back to top. If I click on this again, reviews scroll down back to top and pre-order scrolls down and i can go back to top so this is what you'll be learning in this video tutorial and without any further ado let's get right into it so first and foremost you need to install your wordpress website you can install your wordpress website on local host or you install it on a live server if you want to learn how to install wordpress website in local host i'm going to leave a link in the description below to watch how to do that once you have your wordpress installed then come back to continue with the rest of the video so i believe you've created your installation be it you are using cpanel or local host so this is my own installation then i'm going to go ahead to clear my dashboard i'm going to unclick these guys so i have a neat dashboard now the first thing we need to do is we need to install the needed plugins so to install my plugins i'm going to come to plugins and add new i open this in another tab the first plugin we need is definitely elementor right here we have the elementor website builder i'm going to go ahead to click on install elementor builder and also we need to install the element kit elementor add-ons so i'm going to click on install now and install now the next plugin we need to install is the envato element so i'm going to search for envato and um we're going to have this envato element photo and elemental templates i'm going to go ahead to click on install now the next plugin we need to install is the elemental add-on elements and we have this right here elemental add-on elements i'm going to go ahead to click on install now and the last plugin we need to install is the depictor slider for elemental so we have this right here depictor slider responsive image slider video slider and post slider so this slider can be used with elemental gutenberg your post or your page so i'm going to go ahead to click on install now now we have all our plugins installed and i'm going to go ahead to activate all the plugins together to do that i'm going to come to install plugins and i'm going to activate all of these so i'm going to click on this um, checkbox button right here and i'm going to click on this drop down and activate then i'm going to click on apply now i've activated all the plugins in case you get an error when trying to activate all the plugins together you can go ahead to activate plugins one by one by clicking on activate option for each plugin 
now we have all our plugins activated and the next thing we want to do is install my team so i'm going to come to appearance teams i'm going to open this in another tab and by default you are going to have these teams right here the team we want to use is cadence so i'm going to come to add new and i'm going to search for cadence to install it you can come right here to search for cadence just type in cadence and um, it should pop up right here then you can go ahead to install it so i'm going to install cadence so cadence has been installed the next thing you want to do is you want to activate the cadence um, team i'm going to go ahead and click on activate and now our cadence is active so the next thing you want to do is you want to delete all the extra plugins um teams right here so i'm going to come to team settings i'm going to delete okay delete then okay and i'm going to delete the last one as well okay now we have only cadence team so i'm going to come to appearance now and menus to create my menus i'm going to open this in another tab and we are right here i'm going to call this main menu and um, i'm going to click on create menu after creating my menu i'm going to add menu items so for now i'm going i'm just going to use um custom links so i'm going to come to custom links and i'm going to just give this ash and i'm going to call this pictures now let me start with home home i'm going to click on add to menu and um let's go with features add to menu uh we can give this properties or should i call it um types let me call this types let me call it let me give this make i'm going to click on add to menu and um i'm going to give this testimonials or reviews i'm going to click on add to menu and um i'm going to just give this something like pre-order i'm going to give this pre-order then i'm going to click on add to menu now we have this i'm going to go ahead to give this my primary menu and it's also going to be my mobile menu then i'm going to click on save menu now we have our menu saved the next thing we want to do is we want to customize the team now this is the color i'm going to be working with for the website and for you to use um, a color picker to pick the color exactly you need to install a um, color picker on your chrome um, browser i'm currently using chrome so this is the color picker i'm using um it is called colorzilla you can just go ahead to search for colorzilla chrome on your browser and you have this click on it and um I'm just going to change this to English. Then you will go ahead to click on install on Chrome. So when you click on install on Chrome, wait for it to install. And when it is done installing, you are going to see this um little white icon right here. Click on it. By default, yours will be missing right here. Just click on it and pin it to your browser, and you are going to have it right here. So this is the um extension we are going to be using to pick our colors. I'm going to close this and i'm going to leave this open because i'm going to use this now we're going to customize our um, team to set the global fonts and the global colors i'm going to come to appearance and i'm going to click on teams um then i'm going to click on customize the next another thing you can do is just come to appearance and click on customize either ways so i'm going to click on customize and um, i'm going to come back and close this one plugins do we still need it um no i'm just going to leave my dashboard so let's wait for the customize to open and um the font i'll be working with will be let's just work with poppins let's work with poppins now don't mind this header that is there by default this this was when i was trying to say something so i'm just going to come to header and just delete everything you have in your header delete everything because we are going to be creating our custom header so delete all the header come to footer as well footer right here and um, delete everything so there's no header there's no footer so what we want to set is our color and font 
starting with the colors so by default yours might be different color just come right here select your color picker page color picker is active just click on it click on it and when you click on it there will be a pop-up right here so you can pick your color so i'll start with the gold i'm going to select the gold color after picking the color i'm going to come back to my um color picker right here this is the color we picked i'm going to copy the short code Control c i'm going to come back to my customize and i'm going to paste the code here so that'll be my default um highlights i'm going to select this i'm going to Control a Control v paste again and um, this time around i want it lighter something like this something like this then I, I think i'm going to adjust this a little bit to something like this then um the shackle color this one i'm also going to pick i'm going to come right here i'm going to pick the color has been picked as you can see this is the short code as well i'm going to come back here color picker and this is the color we just picked i'm going to copy the short code come back to customize and i'm going to paste the color right here i'm going to paste we have that and um for this one i better still for this one let's pick something around here something around there that is very dark charcoal dark and this one i'm going to paste my color i picked i can leave the rest as default like that then my website background i want it pure black I don't want to use this dark i just let me select color from my options so i'm going to select this something like this yeah then content background i'm just going to leave that sites um title above content background just pick this as white or gold depending on what you want to achieve title above content overlay just pick it as white can set your own color i'm going to leave the um link color as they are as you can see this is the link color right here i'm going to leave that as default and i'm going to come back i'm going to set my buttons as well background colors for my buttons i think i like it like this um let me just leave it as default as well i think i'm cool and um i'm going to come back to typography and i want to use poppins Poppins. I'm going to click on this. That we said. Load italics font style. Yeah, I want that as well. For my headings, I want poppins as well. I just want to use poppins. Just one uh, font all true. Once that is set, I think that's basically all we need to set for our team customization. Head and footer. We've deleted all the content. Post page layout. You don't need that search results. Site identity. Now for your site identity, you need to set that so i'm going to come to site identity and your site identity is your five icon right here i'm going to use my personal um logo so i'm going to come to smart web i'm going to use this five icon i'm going to use this one i'm going to use this one as my five icon and start skip cropping and if you check up here we have our five icon set once that is done menus widgets I think every other thing is set i'm going to go ahead to click on if i click on publish i'm going to come back to colors and fonts typography and um let's let me see if i can set the color of other stuff content for the website so this color i want it as this white so you can see our content and i'm going to click on publish so that is set i'm going to close this i'm going to leave this open let me just drag it to this side and i'm back to my dashboard so after customizing our website and everything is set the next thing i want to do is i want to create my header so i'm going to come to element kits click next step next step next step next step save changes so where you want to come to is the modules come to the modules and we need this one two three once that is on click on save changes after i'm turning on all the modules in element kit there's one other plugins we need to install so i'm going to come to appearance plugins i mean and add new i want to install the header and footer builder i think that skewed my mind in the first place so i'm going to search for header and footer builder just put header and footer i think that should pop up 
so what i want to install is the elemental header and footer builder i'm going to click on install now and wait for that to install then i'm going to go ahead to activate it so i'm going to activate so we have our header and footer builder activated to use it i'm going to come to appearance and we have elemental header and footer builder right here i'm going to open this in another tab as well so you're going to get a dashboard like this one and i'm going to go ahead to click on add new i'm going to call this my header type of templates i'm just going to um, select header display on entire website to display on entire website i'm just going to click on publish and our website has been published after publishing it just come to edit with elementor to edit and create your header i'm going to drag in an inner section right here first i'm going to drag in an inner section and um, what i want to do is i'm going to select the first box and i'm just going to make this um let's see 20 percent something like this if you have a logo you can use image if you don't have a logo just use text i'm going to use text i'm just going to call this i'm just give it this name i'm going to come to style i'm going to select primary i'm going to select one of our main colors i'm going to select this or oh, let me work with this m watch i'm going to come to this the font should be um poppins or roboto poppins i'm going to select and i think i'm okay with the size but let's just give it something like 30 cool and the weights let's try 500 i think i'm okay with 500 right there we have that and for this i'm going to search for nav now the navigation we'll be using is that of element kit as you can see that of elemental is disabled that is because we're using the free version of elemental all these features are only available in the elemental pro so that was why we installed the element kit and we enabled the header and footer module so we want to use the navigation menu you can use that of this this one comes from the um elemental add-on element but the one want to use the element kit nav menu i'm going to drag this in and i'm going to select the menu we created before now i'm going to select main menu once i have that selected as you can see we have something here i'm going to take it to the right yeah so we can have it here and the next thing i want to do is i'm going to select this column and i want to select vertical align to middle so we have it like this then i'm going to come back to my menus i'm going to select that and i'm going to come to styles i'm going to click on menu item style and i want my default color as um something like silver or white let's use something like silver something like this color on hoover i want it gold so i'm just going to select this and active i'm going to select this i'm going to come back to menu wrapper and menu height i want it as lean as possible so this is okay for me just set it to 30 30 um, pixels and once that's set and i'm going to check the mobile i'm going to start with the tablet so for tablet as well i'm going to select this and um i'm going to come to content and i want it to the right so i'm going to come back to style and what i want to select is the hamburger style i'm going to select hamburger style and um hamburger icon color i want it as this so after doing that let me click on this to see what our background looks like we have like this i'm going to close this guy hamburger and i'm going to come to menu wrapper um mobile wrapper background so this one i want to edit i'm going to make it dark as dark as possible so we have this and we're going to come to our menu item style for mobile as well so the color should be pure white pure white and i'm going to the background we don't need background typography i'm just going to make it 16 same thing hoover want it orange active want it orange let's check the mobile this is fine as well so let me just close this guy as you can see the mobile header is scattered so i'm going to select this and make this 50 come to the um i selected the column and i came to the column width i'm going to make it 50 and for these as well i'm going to make it 
50 so we have this guy i'm going to select the container i'm going to unchain it and padding top i'll just give something like five padding button five so it applies for both tablets and mobile as well i'm going to come back to tablets this is cool mobile and this is cool so once that is set i'm just going to close the header so i'm going to come back to my dashboard i'm going to come to pages and i'm going to create a new page i'm going to open this in another tab and um, i'm going to call this home template i'm going to make it elemental full width once that is set i'm going to click on publish and um, i'm going to come back right here and click on edit with elemental so cool we now have our page and we'll start developing our website so the slider we'll be using is the depictor slider that was what we installed i'm going to come to plugins and i'm going to explain what all these plugins are doing depictor is the slider we'll be using elemental is our page builder elemental add-on elements will be used to create our switch when we get there i'm going to um, emphasize on it elemental header and footer builder we use it to build our header element kit is going to control um the elements we use to build our header that is the navigation and all is all from element kit eventual element is where we're going to be getting templates to hasten our development so now we want to um create our slider to create a slider you need to come to the picture right here and you get a page like this one so um this video to shorten it i'm going to be using one of the picture templates and um, i'm going to go ahead to do that but if you want to learn how to create your own slider from scratch i'm going to leave a link in the description below on how to do that so i'm going to click on create slider right here and um, you're going to have access to a series of templates so i'm just going to choose a template here to work with so i'm going to go with this one and i'm going to click on import now once again i'm going to mention it if you want to learn how to use this slider and create your slides from scratch i have a video on that and i'm going to leave a link to it in the description below so i'm working with this template for this one i'm, I'm not going to be creating the slider from scratch i'm just going to be editing the slider but if you want to know more about the picture slider just go to the description below and um, watch that video so i'm going to close this pop-up and this is slider i want to be working with so the first thing to edit is this um, image right here i'm going to click on it i don't want to delete it i want to use my personal image i'm going to come to uploads and i'm going to um add some image so i have this um, images i've created down for this particular project i'm just going to import everything i'm going to install everything i'm going to drag and drop i'm going to untick everything the image i want to use here is this one this one right here and i'm going to click on um insert so i'm going to oh, let me delete it i'm just going to come to my photos since i've uploaded all the images i'm going to come to my photos and the one i want to use is this one i'm going to drag it over this image as you can see there's a blue outline now on the image and i'm going to drop it so we just did that and um i'm going to select i'm going to come to background i want to change the background of this entire slider so i can see the entire slider i'm going to come to percentage and i'm going to give this something like um let me just give this 25 so i'm going to search for um dark background you can search for dark you can search for you can use any image if you have your own um, default image you can use that as well let me let me use dark watch let's see if i'm going to get a stock photo for that i'm going to use this i'm going to drag it and i'm going to bring it to the background i'm going to release it and it's going to turn to our background image as you can see that just turned and i'm going to bring this back to 50 percent i'm going to select this text um i don't want to give it a background color i just want well, let me give it a background color white let me edit this shape let me edit this shape let me give this um black i'm going to select that now i'm going to edit all the texts and i'm going to give everything white so white and um white my button i'm going to select it we can use the gold color as a background and 
the um, front color is going to be black something like this i'm going to edit the text of this guy m watch um official store yeah okay we have this and i'm just going to track this guy like this and um let me remove the background color instead let me just make it transparent let me make it transparent and there's a shape behind it let me just edit the shape let me edit the shape and um give it something like um let's give it something like this or like this let's give it something like this let's drag back our um content and i'm going to change the color of the content to gold our official color uh, no not the background again not the background not the background i don't want to give it any background i'm going to off that i'm going to okay this is the content i'm going to give it color of gold I'm going to paste and we have this so i want it to the brightest m watch official store we have that i think this is cool so let's check the responsiveness as you can see this is scattered we need to edit the responsiveness so i'm going to drag this guy back and um, i'm going to start editing these guys one by one i'm going to come to this content style i'm going to make this let me use our official color which is code i'm going to drag this up and i'm going to leave it as this i'm going to select my button and this color should be black so i think everything is set for this everything is set for the um tablet so let's check the mobile and um i'm going to zoom in so like sound five percent this i'm going to select it and it should be our official color paste mm -hmm. we have this so i want it this way and um let's make this like this for the image i'm just going to drag it down like this you can also re also resize the image if you want to so something like this you can resize it i'm going to take our button i'm going to bring it down like this i'm going to edit the um size of the button as well and i'm going to edit um the font color I'm going to give this black as well and the text i'm going to drag this like this and um like this i'm going to come to the color as well and make this pure white then this i'm going to drag this like this and um i think we're done with the mobile responsiveness so we need to drag let me edit this guy and give it um color white We have that tablets let me edit this guy as well and um i'm going to give this pure white and desktop i'm going to edit it and i'm going to give it pure white as well so i'm trying to check to make sure everything is set once that's done i'm going to come back to my slides let's come click on this i'm going to duplicate duplicate i'm just going to click on the second slide and i'm going to bring this back to 25 percent and i'm going to change the image just like i did before i'm going to drag this like this cool i'm going to come back to the second slides i mean the third slides and i'm going to drag this in as well i think everything is fine let me publish i'm going to publish changes copy the short code this is all i need the short code is all i need i'm going to copy i'm going to come back to my page i'm going to search for short code to pull this in and uh, i'm going to paste the short code i just copied i'm going to click on apply and i'm going to click on the container the container i'm going to make it full width and um, i'm going to make it no gap i'm going to click on update and let's see what we have so far for the slider let's preview what we have okay now we have this and let's see the other things we need to fix i'm going to come right here and i'm going to click on this i want to adjust the um, image i'm going to drag this up little bits 
and i'm going to come here i'm going to do the same for this i'm just going to drag it up a little bit once that is done for this as well i'm going to resize it I'm going to bring it up for this i'm going to do the same i'm going to resize it and um like this as well okay once that's set i'm going to check for my mobile my tablet everything is fine done 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 perfect i'm just going to move this guy as well and then i'm going to check for mobile and i'm going to let's see what we have for mobile get to inspect okay this is fine for tablets um pixel 5 fine this is fine as well i'm okay with it like this and what i want to edit now is um the contents above right here with click on 75 percent uh, there should be a content here yeah this exact one and i'm going to come here and make it pure white that's what that looks like start from let me just leave it like that i'm going to select um the second one as well i'm going to select the text and give it pure white and the third one as well then select the text and give it pure white once i'm done i'm going to publish publish changes and i'm going to come here to reload our website to see what we have so we have this i'm going to close this i'm just going to click on the wordpress icon right here to go back to my dashboard i'm going to come to appearance elemental header and footer i'm going to open this in another tab and i'm going to click on edit with elemental cool and um, what i want to do is i want to edit this guy I'm going to come to background let me give it something at least come back to edit that later i'm just going to give it this dark background color if i should update and i come back to my website to see okay I'm going to reload okay this is perfect we have this we have this um i think we are good to go the next section we want to have is um the feature box so i'm going to create a section which is just one i'm going to come to um the main container i'm going to come to style background i'm going to give the color of dark definitely and i'm going to leave it as that i'm going to come to advanced i'm going to give it something like um 80 up and 80 bottom i'm going to select this and i'm going to drag in an inner section i'm going to give it three like this and um so i'm going to go ahead to drag in an image and i'm going to select um this image we click on insert media we have this and i'm going to drag in a heading then i'm going to drag in um, a text editor then i'm going to drag in a button so i'm going to select my heading and i'm going to put something like waterproof right going to select this and i just want it to be pure white I'm just give it pure white something like this and i'm going to select our uh, text i'm not going to edit that I'm just going to give it something like this and our button i'm going to come here to style the background i want it transparent and i want this as gold i'm going to come to padding i'm going to do that i'm going to come back to content i'm going to give it an icon so icon library instead i'm going to search for arrow and um i'm going to select this and insert i'm going to make it after and i'm going to space it a little bit i'm going to go back to my style and i'm going to edit the typography and give you something like 16. perfect i'm going to come back to content i'm going to give you something like the other um, we're going to leave it like that I'm going to select this and i'm going to come to advance 
I'm going to unchain the pad, the margin, and I'm going to give it 20. 20 right, 20 left. Same thing with this, advance, unchain it, 20, 20, and this as well, same thing. Unchain it, 20, 20. Once that is done, I'm going to select the um, the column. I'm going to come to advance, and I'm going to give it margin around of 10. And um, after doing that, I'm going to come to style. I'm going to come to border, and I want to give it a box shadow. So like this. I want the box shadow to be transparent enough, and. Um, I'm going to make it one, one, and spread should be one. Uh, let's let's increase the blur, something like twenty, and um, I think I'm good like that. I'm going to come right here, select this, the same column. I'm going to come to advanced. I'm going to remove the padding. Then I'm going to give the padding bottom of 50 or 30. I think this is okay for me. I'm going to come to style again, border, and I'm going to give the border radius of something like 20. I'm going to select the column still selected, come to advance, and the margin and to increase it to something like 20. I think we have this. This is cool. I'm going to go ahead to delete. And before I delete, let's check the responsiveness. So we won't have to add attend to that again i think i'm cool with this i'm going to select the column and i'm just going to make this 10 instead 10 and this i'm going to reduce it to 10 10 same with this 10 10 and um, same with this and chain 10 10 i think i'm cool with this going to select the column i think 10 10 is cool and um, what else let's check for mobile get to select this and this should be 20 20. same with this and same with the button okay this is cool and i'm going to select the column and um i want this as 15 instead on that set i'm going to come back to desktop i'm going to delete these guys the remaining column and i'm going to duplicate this one now we have three as you can see and um i'm going to change the image to something else i'm going to select this I'm going to give you something like durable and uh, i'm going to select this as well and give this um efficient i'm going to select the image and i'm going to use this okay perfect i'm going to click on update and let's see what we have now so this is okay for me and this is cool you have this this is cool i'm okay with this so I'm just going to come right here to add one or two things. I'm going to drag in the heading. I'm just going to give this something like um, features. And um, I'm going to come right here. I'm going to search for divider. Yeah, I'm going to drag this below this. And um, solid, yes. Let's use double. I'm going to reduce the length to something like um eight i'm going to come to style and i want the color as gold and um, the weight i'm going to increase it something like this the gap i'm going to reduce the gap and the features i'm going to select it style i'm going to make this pure white and the typography should be poppins don't forget rising poppins on the website and this should be something like 50. let me just update and let's see what we have and now we have this i think this is cool this is cool for me i'm going to come back and check the responsiveness 
so for this i'm just going to make it come to the middle content centralize content centralize and for mobile as well i'm going to select this and i'm going to change the width for mobile features i'm going to change the size of this and give it um 30 or 35 i'm going to come back to my desktop and we are done with this section and the next section we want to do is the switch um section so before i do that i'm i will need to come back to my dashboard i'm going to come to templates i'm going to click on saved template so we have this so what you want to do is click on add new and um, the template i want to create a section i'm going to give this um let me just call this metal i'm going to click on create template and i want to use um a template instead so let me just click on the evanto um icon and that was why we installed the Envato plugin i'm going to come to free blocks and um, i'm going to click on um features and benefits i'm going to scroll all the way down i want to use this template i'm going to click on insert template now that is done the first thing i want to do is i want to change this um, image i'm going to click on this and i want to use on our image i'm going to select the metal um, wristwatch i'm going to click on insert media so we have this the button i'm going to delete it and the background color if i go ahead to do the background color let me change the color of these guys to um white and um i'm going to give it poppins uh, once that is done i'm going to select this and i'm going to make it pure white as well or something like this then i'm going to go ahead to work with these guys let me just delete this i'm going to delete 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 then i'm going to come back copy the header i'm going to paste it again copy this paste it again and i'm going to copy this again the header this time around again i'm going to paste I'm going to copy the content again and i'm going to paste so we'll still come back to edit it i'll do the same for this and um, let me just delete this guy let me delete all the contents and i'm going to copy the header again copy going to paste copy the contents copy and paste so let me make it dark so you can see what is going on i'm going to select this entire section come to style background and i'm going to make this dark color cool right i'm going to select the section still selected come to layout i'm just going to make this full width and no gap once that is set i'm going to go ahead to copy this guy again and i'm going to paste and copy paste copy paste copy paste now we have this so i'm pretty cool with this i'm going to select this and come to advance i'm going to remove the um, margin top and margin bottom so once that is done i'm going to i'm not going to edit the text you can go ahead to edit the text for your side i'm going to click on update and let's see what that looks like for um this i think it looks like this um uh, you can leave it like that you can go ahead to centralize it if you want to and i'm going to leave mine like this i'm going to check that off mobile i'm going to leave this like this as well I can always customize it once that's done i'm going to come back here i'm cool with this i'm going to create another template and appearance no template save template i'm going to open this in another tab 
and i'm going to create a new template i'll call this um leather should be section and create template so i'm going to come here to this place i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it here instead of doing it again and all i'll just do is i'll just change the image and um i want to use I want to use this okay this is cool i'm going to click on publish and we are done we're back to our main um page and what i want to do is i want to add a new section i'm going to come back to my dashboard and what i want to do is i'm going to look for elemental add-ons elements i'm going to open this another tab to enable the switcher so i'm just going to click on let me just allow and continue you can go ahead to click on skip or anything and uh, it's going to bring you here so you want to make sure this is enabled this content switcher you want to make sure it is enabled you can go ahead to disable the rest we don't need them this is what we need the content switcher i'm going to click on save changes and um i'm going to come back to my main website i'm just going to reload this guy once that is done I'm going to scroll down back to this place just view what it looks like i'm going to search for switcher now we have the content switcher appearing i'm going to drag this down right here and what you want to do is i'm going to select um skin and i want to use skin too now we have this so i'm going to um come to let's just delete this let me delete this header i just get rid of it i just want this switcher i'm going to come back to the switcher i'm going to click on this i'm going to come to content i'm going to select the primary i'm going to change this to metal type i'm going to select saved section i'm going to select section and the section on select is metal right there as you can see we now have this and i'm going to come to secondary i'm going to call this leather and section saved section and i'm going to select leather i'm going to come to style and the um switcher control i'm going to make it this color um let me make it tip one and this as well should be the deep one so we have that metal and leather and um, i'm just going to remove the padding top so it won't be too much advanced i'm going to remove the padding top just the padding padding top and uh, i'm going to check the responsiveness okay i think we are cool and um i'm going to come back here and i want some space between the switcher and the content so i'm going to click on this again and um, i'm going to come to content and i want padding and give the padding top of like um 60 let's use 60. so let's check the mobile i think there's now space now um tablets and um, we have space as well so i'm just going to leave this for tablets and um i think we are cool i'm going to for mobile i'm going to give this 50 so the space like that and i'm going to click on update let's see what we have so i'm going to scroll down we have the features and as you can see we have this part so if i should toggle it it changes as you can see so we've created our switcher section now in case you don't want your content to be scattered with the content is scattered like this like centralized you can always um come here come to style come to content and put it like this so it's not taking um it's not aligned to the left i'm going to go ahead and click on updates and um you have something lovely right here okay this is cool Let's come to my dashboard i'm going to come to settings i'm going to come to um reading to set our default home page i'm going to click on this home page i'm going to select our home 
and uh, i'm going to click on save changes so if i should come back here to reload should not be displaying on mobile so this is perfect Let's scroll down we have the feature and uh, we have this as well now the next um, section we are designing is our testimonial so i'm just going to copy this section copy and i'm going to paste and um, i'm going to what i want to do is i'm going to delete the inner section i'm just going to call this reviews i'm going to select the container advance and remove the padding top i'm going to drag in um an inner section we have this and an image to be here image right here you can select this and choose this image once we have that i'm going to come here and search for a testimonial okay testimonial and what i want to use is that of element kit i'm going to drag and drop and um, the one i want to use is this one now let's use this uh, okay i'm going to go with this one instead cool i'm going to select this column and i'm going to make it 30 percent or better still let's give it 40 percent and i'm going to select this i'm going to come to um, testimonial i'm going to keep the testimonial as three for layout we selected our layout settings um slide to show i want it as two perfect and um slides to scroll one so i'm just going to come back to testimonial let's add some content here i'm going to come to the ipsum to grab some dummy text let's grab as much and see the one we we'll need i'm going to paste that's too much let's reduce it by Okay, I'm cool with this. I'm going to select this section and I'm going to make about car line uh, middle. We have that and this one as well. Select it middle. Perfect. I'm going to select um, my testimonial. I'm going to come to testimonials. I'm going to delete the remaining two and I'm going to duplicate this one. Perfect. I'm going to come to style and um wrapper content style i'm going to select this and i uh, think um use fixed height using fixed height will make the height of everything the same thing but since our content are the same thing but i advise you to turn this on to use fixed height and just make it default like this i'm um, 30 for the title operator to make the color pure white and um clients i'm going to make it color let me give it gold so color is gold and um, hover color I can make it the second gold we have that um clients um designation blah 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 we didn't set all those ones i'm just going to leave it like this and come to um i'm going to come to layout we selected our layouts let's select background type and uh, i want it transparent like this i want it transparent i'm going to give it a border I'm going to give it box shadow as well so let's give the box shadow and um let's increase this and um, give this one one twenty and um one once that is done i'm just going to reduce our dimities like that and i'm going to come to um 
the padding is cool the margin is cool the border radius i'm gonna give it 20. so we have border radius right there um description i want the color as white like this my icon let's see your icon quote icon i want the color as this as well pure white and um i think we're basically done i'm just going to come here to change the image of my um reviews so it won't be like that i'm just going to select this i'm going to use my logo right here i'm going to select i'm going to insert it and let me delete this too i'm just going to duplicate the new one i just edited and i'm going to call this um john samuel and mark designation i'm just going to delete all those so you can always customize it to fit um what you're doing so i'm going to leave this as my testimonial my reviews and uh, i think i'm done i'm going to check for um desktop for tablets i'm going to select this and i'm going to come back to settings and for tablet i want to show just one review and um, to scroll one and i'm going to bring this back to 50 percent for tablets 50 percent and this one too will be 50. and we have this i'm going to select the container the inner section advanced i'm just going to give it padding right and left of 20 and 20. so we have this like that and um i think i'm cool i'm going to select mobile i'm going to unchain this and i'm going to select this testimonial settings as well should be one one i think we have that i think we are cool yeah i'm going to come back here and i'm going to update and let's see what we have so far and we have this this is lovely and awesome as you can see so for the last section which is the period section we need to install a new plugin to be able to receive payments so i'm going to come to my dashboard i'm going to come to our um, plugins add new i'm going to open this in new tab and i'm going to search for for me nato i'm going to install now then i'm going to go ahead to activate the form nato plugin please click on activate and wait for that to reload now after activating the plugin scroll all the way down i'm going to see form nato i'm going to click on this and it will take me to the form nato dashboard now the reason why we're installing the form nato is to receive payments on the website on the page form nato is a plugin that allows you to create contact forms payment forms other forms and other types of forms if you want to learn how to use form nato from beginning to end i'm going to leave a link in the description below to watch that video so the first you need to do to receive payments with form nato is to set your payment gateway and to do that all you have to do is come to settings come to payments and connect your stripe and paypal so i've connected my stripe and i'm going to come here to set my default currency so i want my default currency as usd you can select gbp um your currency depends depending on where you are i'm going to leave it as usd and i'm going to click on save settings there are other settings for form nato you can set your captcha and other settings you can go ahead to customize that now to create my form i'm going to come back to forms and uh, i'm going to click on create since we are creating a payment form i'm going to go ahead to click on the blank and continue i'm going to call this um reorder the other form i'm going to click on create and um, i'm going to insert fields 
so i want the name i want the email i want the phone number and um i'm going to create a select field and uh, i'm going to add um stripe let's click on insert fields now if you want to know how to use formulator again there's a link in the description on how to do that so i'm going to make this like this my name email address and name should be together phone number and select should be together and um, for the email address i'm just going to leave it as email address settings required get to close that name settings required also select i'm going to give this metal watch you can give it silver depending on what you are building i'm going to give this metal watch and this one will be leather watch going to open this open this and we have that and um i'm going to apply this also is composed let me set it to settings required um labels you want to be able to select just one option and um place order should be select watch type I just give you something like watch type i'm going to apply and i'll come to phone number i want this required you need to apply settings required apply debit card which is our stripe that we added so i'm going to come to settings i'm using usd and um, i'm going to come to payment plan i'm going to give this uh, for my payment plan i'm going to give this um metal i just give you something like 100 usd now i'm going to come to conditions and this price will only be set if the user add the condition if the user selects phone type and the phone type is metal metal watch we click on done and the plan for the metal watch is set i'm going to add another plan and this one will be leather and i'm going to make the price of this 80 i'm going to come to conditions add conditions the the user select watch type is leather i'm going to click on done and apply then i'm going to click on save changes then i'm going to click on publish now the short code we need is this one right here i'm just going to copy copy this down then i'm going to also click right here to copy then i'm going to close this then i'm going to come to appearance use material like this um let me come back to edit the button make payment apply and customize your button right here if you come to appearance colors custom and the one i just want to change is that of the button let to make this um let's just make it cold and the test color should be white yeah i'm going to click on update in case you didn't copy your short code or you copied something else just click on this gear icon and copy short code after copying the short code come back to our page and um i'm going to i'm just going to duplicate this i'm going to duplicate and we have this i'm going to delete the content here i'm going to delete this and um, i'm going to search for short code to drag and drop and i'm going to paste the short code of my payment form i'm going to make this 50 50 50 and this one will be 50 and um i'm just going to give this the other and um i'm going to 
delete this and use an animation instead so to get an animation i'm going to visit this website story set story set.com and i'm going to search for payments say payment information or anything um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one i'm going to click on animate i'm going to change the color to um pure white i'm going to change the color to pure white and i'm going to click on this and i'm going to make it float you can pick any of the widgets and make them float i'm going to make this six seconds i'm just going to export copy the svg code and come back to my website and i'm going to search for html html i'm going to drag in the code and i'm going to paste the code i just copied so we have this and our form will be here as well i'm going to select this column and i just want to give this a margin all around of 20 and this one as well advanced margin all around of 20. once that is set i'm going to click on update let's see what we have and we have this as you can see can add your debit card your credit card you can go ahead to customize how this will be displayed from the formulator form so we now have this and um, i'm going to come back to my page and i'll start making this a one page website so i'm going to select the first section again and i'm going to make it a bit different i'm going to drag this up like this so it is different from this now this and for this as well i'm going to select this give it a padding top of 80 come to style and make this one a lighter this as well i'm going to come to advance and i'm going to make it padding top of 80 and i'm going to leave the color as default once that is done there's one more thing we need to do i'm going to search for anchor menu anchor and i'm going to give this um something like let me give you something like sites feature you just have to remember everything site feature i'm going to come um down to this section as well and i'm going to give it anchor and i'm going to drag it up above i'm going to give this one um site watch type let me give it a watch type let me give this watch feature watch picture and i'm going to come to this section as well i'm going to search for anchor again watch review i'm going to select the last one search for anchor and i'm going to call this watch order once that is done i'm going to click on update so the next thing i want to do is make sure um when any menu is clicked it takes them down to where it is now what we'll be using is the anchor tag we added right here we added anchor tag to everything so i'm going to come back to my dashboard appearance menus and we start adding our anchor tag so the first thing you need to do is copy the home link of your website the home link not the um, elemental preview link the home link you can it could be your domain name if you're on local host, you can do this as well copy the home link come to your menus then i'm going to click on the first menu item i'm going to paste the link for the second menu item features i'm going to paste the link and i'm going to add hash the anchor tag we gave it you can always come back to check your anchor tag right here for the features if you click on your anchor tag we called it 
watch feature i'm going to call this watch feature i'm going to come to the make i'm going to paste and for that one we called it um watch type i'm going to copy i'm going to add my ash paste watch type and i'm going to copy the url again reviews paste i'm going to add slash and ash i'm going to come back here and um, reviews we gave it watch review come back to the menus and paste and um for the pre-order we did the same thing i'm going to copy this link as well copy paste and um, slash i'm going to check what we give that and watch order i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste as well once that is done i'm going to click on save menu and then come back to reload the website now if i should click on this as you can see it scrolls down if i should click on this as you can see it scrolls down and if i should click on reviews it scrolls down if i should click on pre-order it scrolls down to pre-order and now we've created a one page website once our website is set you need to add a scroll back to top as you can see if i should click on review it takes me down to go back up there must be a link here like this one now once clicked it takes me back up so let's go and customize this little back to top icon to do that go back to your dashboard and you want to come to appearance and customize i'm going to open this in another tab and wait for that to load once it is loaded you want to come back to um general and you want to click on scroll to top just may be disabled by default so you want to click on enable it select the icon you want align right or left if you want it to the right you select if you want to the left you select and you can leave the remaining settings and you want to make sure all these are ticked yours might be off by default but you want to make sure everything is blue like this then you want to come to design and change the color so i'm going to change the background color to gold and i'm going to change the main color to black and make on hover white so i'm going to click on publish and come back to reload my website and now we have a scroll to top as you can see can now go back up go back up go back up go back up and this also is visible on mobile if yours is not visible make sure you come back to your customize general right here and make sure it, the visibility is enabled on mobile but come back here if i should click on this and i go to pre-order scroll down and i can go go back up so this is where i'm going to wrap up this video tutorial i remain moses and i'm going to see you in the next tutorial